Hey guys, Joe DeMarco from the Crazy New York Driver Show for Friday, August 25th, 2017. Welcome to another eBay video. Today we're going to be discussing several important topics and a lot of your comments and concerns from last week's video. Rather than spend the bulk of my video talking about one topic, which is what I usually do, I'm going to try and cover quite a few small topics today. We're going to be discussing, as I said, your comments and concerns, plus the fact that Hal Lawton has left eBay. We're going to talk about some problems that occurred during the week on eBay and some other interesting things that I hope you will find helpful. For those of you who do not know me, my name is Joe DeMarco. I've been selling on eBay since 1999, a really long time, and I come out here every Friday night. I make these videos to try and help you guys sell on eBay, and I hope you find them useful. So let's get started with today's video, and as always, we're going to start with your comments and concerns from last week's video. About the e-check return I had to put up with a few weeks ago, Denver Flipper wrote, I would bet there are a whole bunch of buyers that tried eBay and this happened to them and will never buy on eBay again and tell their friends about it. Not good for the rest of sellers. I agree with him. This kind of thing should never happen and hopefully in the future it never will happen again. St. Paul, Minnesota seller wrote a rather long comment which I'm going to encapsulate and it has to do with bad buyers. eBay does not mention vulgarity or profanity, etc. as not acceptable on eBay's forwarding system messages. Either by error or maybe legal design, the message system is not listed. They discuss only public areas of eBay and as you know the messages are not technically public unless the seller includes it on the listing. As far as profanity goes and threats and all that kind of stuff, I haven't had much of that in my eBay career, my 18 years. The most egregious case was years ago, back in the early 2000s. I had a guy who messaged me ahead of time to ask me about some center caps I was selling. And I told him ahead of time what wheel they would fit. And I told him, this is it. Be sure before you make any purchases because I don't accept returns. Because back in the early days of eBay, you did not have to accept returns and there was no, there was no carrot waved in front of you, no top rated seller discount to accept returns. So anyway, this guy bought the caps, he got them. And after all those questions he posed to me, he replies, he writes to me and says, I'm returning these caps, they don't fit. I said to him, no, you're not returning them. I clearly said, no returns accepted. I answered all your questions. I told you ahead of time what wheel they fit, and you still didn't go out and check. He cursed the crap out of me. He threatened me. He told me he was going to come to New York and beat the crap out of me. So I turned him into eBay. I called eBay customer service, and I made them look at the threats he, that he wrote to me. And they said they would take action. And I know they did. I know they contacted him in some way because right after they did, he replied to me again with more threats. I called eBay again. And I said, look at this ongoing thing he's doing. They went after him yet again. When I say go after him, I mean they contacted him through email and they censured him. This guy then replied to me a third time with more threats. Naturally, nothing came of it. But St. Paul, Minnesota seller, I, you said you contacted eBay. Did you call them on the phone or did you do it through email? Always call on the phone and let them see the messages being sent. As I said, that has not been a big problem for me on eBay. It was like a one-time thing, but it could happen and it should be reported to eBay if it does happen. A couple of people wrote in about my segment with Kathy Terrell. A Quiet Knight wrote, Next time interview Kathy at a construction site with lots of jackhammers going. And also related with Cyberman Bill. Where do you recite that segment with Kathy? It sounds like you're standing in the middle of the road in the middle of the Lincoln Tunnel. 
I know you talked about it in your video, but I couldn't understand the thing because of all the background and ambient noise around. Please do it indoors next time. Thanks. Guys, I totally get it. I know we have a big noise problem when we do our videos. We have to find a better place, and we're trying. Anytime we film outside in New York, there's always a lot of background noise. For those of you guys who saw me at eBay Live, you know I had a problem recording even inside because my phone was picking up all the background noise. So eBay graciously let me use their equipment, their professional camera. That's really the kind of thing I need here for this kind of video. Or even interview videos with Kathy or anybody on the street is a professional grade camera. Now I had somebody, and forgive me, I don't have your name written down here. I had somebody offer me a free microphone for my iPhone. But to be honest, the camera I'm using now is actually a camcorder. It is not my iPhone. I have my iPhone right here. So that microphone is not really what I need, but thank you for the offer anyway. And I haven't mentioned it until now, and I should have. It is sunny out. It is 63 degrees on August 25th. This has been the best weather week we have had all freaking year. I'm telling you, it's been nice almost every day, and I love it. So yeah, continuing on with the comments. On best offer, Shirley Louise wrote, and she was responding to Kat Galan. I avoid best offers. I have received lowball offers and negotiated the price. By the time I accept their offer, they usually don't pay anyway. I have one right now that I have to call eBay on. I accepted their offer about a week ago and they never paid for the brand new item. I think some people consider it sport to lowball and never intend to purchase the item. I agree with her. I've had no luck with best offer whatsoever. Traditional best offer, meaning when you have it on your eBay listing and the buyer will offer you an amount that they want to pay. Because best offers cannot accept immediate payment. If eBay would come out with a way to fix that, it would be great. Everybody would win. But they don't seem to be doing that, so I am not using best offer. I've been stung so many, many, many times with best offer. Let me pause this moment for the ceremonial drink out of the Fox News Cup. Yes, this is the Fox News Cup. <laughs> Brandy Burke wrote in with a question. Hi, is this feedback extortion? I offered a partial refund or prepaid label as my response. I don't think anything was wrong with the sweater, but I suppose it's possible. She agreed to a partial refund. Here is the message. This came today, but I'm disappointed. Before I leave feedback, I have a question. The top fits well, but the hoodie tapers in at the bottom, and I can zip it. What can we do? Thanks. Anytime a buyer mentions feedback, watch out, okay? In this case, there is a veiled threat there. And I do believe this is a case of possible feedback extortion. I would definitely contact eBay about this in case she does try and neg you. I have two more comments to read before we get on to the main topics. And these are my two favorite comments of last week's video. Gummer Martin wrote, You always make me laugh, especially when you take a drink on your special cup and today a bonus with your dancing. Keep it up, Joe, you are the greatest. Thank you there, Gummer Martin. And another favorite comment, Gators Rock Tim T wrote, back to back sales. He was referring to the two kachings I got on my iPhone last week during the video. So Gators Rock Tim T wrote, back to back sales. Fitchy Sella will dislike this video like crazy, ha ha. Ha 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 ha. You gotta love it, right? I couldn't make this stuff up. So yeah, Gators Rock Tim T, your comment was right on point. That being said, let's get started with the news of the week. First of all, we're gonna talk about the bad things that happen. Number one, Hal Lawton has left eBay. Hal Lawton was one of the top men at eBay, and he was a really good guy, very seller friendly and very approachable. I knew Hal well. 
and he has left to go to Macy's. I wish him all the best of luck. He is being replaced by Scott Cutler, and I am told Scott is also equally seller friendly, and we shall see how things go, and we shall give him our support, and hopefully everything will continue to rock on. eBay was down for a considerable amount of time on Tuesday morning. Some people could only do limited functions. Some could not even sign on at all. Joey here could not sign on at all Tuesday morning. So eBay was totally down. I don't know how in this day and age this kind of thing can still happen, but it still does. And there was one more piece of bad news and I haven't mentioned on the board. I've had quite a few people write in to me saying they're not getting their $30 quarterly credit for promoted listings, that it's not showing up on their invoice. Now, I took a quick look at my invoice the other day for July, which would be the last quarter, and I didn't see a credit either. So I am planning on calling eBay and finding out. I spoke to Gary, the coin guy, the other day. He told me he called eBay and they had to manually credit him. So there is a possibility that if you don't see it on your invoice, you may have to manually, physically call eBay on the phone to get this credit. I'm going to explore that. I'm going to give them a call and I'm going to find out. I'll have more for that on next week's video. For those of you guys who went to eBay Open, I'm assuming by now you have received this beautiful box of eBay swag that was sent to all members who attended eBay 2017. I'll show you some of the things in here because these are new items that will be available from the eBay shipping supply store starting next week. Yellow eBay tape, purple eBay tape, monogrammed boxes. These are very useful for my center caps. I like them. Smaller monogram boxes. Envelopes of various sizes. Padded envelopes. See? So we got some cool stuff there. As you can see, UPS manhandled my box a little bit, but luckily everything arrived intact. On Tuesday, I was asked to be a guest on eBay Radio and to speak. For those of you who did not get to hear that little broadcast, I will include a link in the description box in case you want to listen to it. My main topic for Tuesday's broadcast was eBay Concierge. However, I opened it up by talking about Hal Lawton and thanking him for his two years of service to the company and all he has done for us sellers because he really did a lot, Hal and his team. Everybody watching this video has to admit that selling on eBay is a lot better now than it was during the previous regime. So it's been a really good two years. I wish him all the best of luck. And I am, kind of, I am sorry to see him go, but still, he's got to do what he's got to do. As far as eBay concierge is concerned, a lot of you guys have talked to me about it, contacted me about it. And some of you, a couple of you were skeptical in the comments last week saying that you don't think you're going to be a part of it, but you are going to be a part of it. Everybody who sells on eBay will be opted into the eBay concierge service, but it's going to take up to 20 to 24 months. So do keep that in mind, okay? Right now, a very small percentage of people are enrolled in it. Everybody that is enrolled in it loves it, period, and I don't blame them. It's great to be able to call eBay and talk to somebody who understands eBay policy, who knows eBay policy, and has the juice to enforce eBay policy. Last week, I kept you guys for a full 30 minutes. You'll be happy to know I'm taking it easy on you guys this week. I'm keeping the video much shorter. I'm going to actually wrap it up now. So let's get together and let's discuss the following things if possible. Number one, did any of you guys experience a problem signing on to eBay Tuesday morning? Because as I said, eBay was down for several hours. 
Number two, have any of you guys experienced any problems or issues with getting your $30 quarterly credit for promoted listings? Comment below. And if you had to call eBay on that, I definitely want to hear about that. And of course, I'm sorry to see Hal Lawton go. He was a good man. Hopefully, Mr. Cutler will follow in his footsteps. If you have any concerns about anything I talked about, if anyone could suggest, is there a mic that's compatible with my Samsung Bill camera that I'm filming on right now? I don't think there is. I think I have to actually get a professional set, but I don't have $5,000 to throw away to get one of those nice big units that eBay had. So until I can figure something out, there's nothing else I can do. And do not worry, guys. Do not worry. I am not going to ask you guys for money. I am not going to start a GoFundMe page. That's not my style. I pay my own way. As you know, guys, I make these videos every single Friday. I come out here and I try and help you sell on eBay. I try and answer your questions. I want all of you guys to be successful. If you think I'm doing a good job, give me a thumbs up, please. I would really appreciate that. If not, tell me what I need to address in the comment section below. Remember, I am a seller friend, not a seller critic or a skeptic of any kind. I'm Crazy New York Driver and you're not. Go out there, make some sales, have a good week, rock on, and peace! Yeah! <laughs> yeah! Uh. <laughs>